Welcome back to our channel. I'm Tommy. And I'm Melissa. And today we're going to be having some more concoctions. Uh, we're going to try a recommendation that came from one of our followers that left a comment. Yep. And uh, and then we're going to talk about a new product that we tried out. That we tried out. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first thing we're going to try is um, Jack Daniels. Boom. Boom. We're going to drink it with some Coke because, you know, Jack and Coke. Yeah. And it's from... That's that's what we had heard. So we had a, what was the follower's name? Uh, it's DP underscore diamond. DP or underscore diamond. Or just DP diamond. DP diamond. Yeah. So Excellent. they said uh, we might like it. <clears throat> it's whiskey. It's whiskey. We're not big whiskey drinkers, but we're going to try it out anyway. We're going to try it. Um, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> or does it have the... Uh, Can I see whiskey? The yeah. actual volume? I don't even see the volume on it. Eighty proof. Oh, forty percent alcohol volume. Ooh, that's pretty high. We forty, forty-five is a little high for us sometimes. We stick to around the thirty, thirty-five, so it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a great day. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. My experience with whiskey has not been great. I don't really drink whiskey, so I've had some, but yeah, chasing with Coke Zero. Coke Zero. We love our Coke Zeros, especially with this. All right. Okay, I'm gonna smell it first. Oh, that smells strong. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. Down the hatch. Down the chimp in. Ooh. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, me neither. It actually goes down pretty good. Wow, that's smooth. And it's got like a little bit of a like a high fruity smoky taste. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and a little Little kick, not quite like vodka. Vodka has got that really strong um, rubbing alcohol y yeah. taste. Sometimes yeah. this did not have that. Wow, that's actually. Oh. It's not that bad. I mean, it's not something I'm going to do all the time. No, but man, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I had um, <clears throat> bigger fears, and I'm actually impressed. So, out of ghosts, what would you say out of ten ghosts? I'd say nine. Nine for you? I've had a lot of whiskeys, but so far that's amazing. Maybe nine point five. Yeah, I would say. I'm going to go eight because I'm still not a whiskey fan. So it's kind of like giving it like almost a 10. Um, yeah, but I haven't drank enough whiskey to really compare. But if that's where we start with whiskeys, man, it's a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stick with my eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, next review is uh, we're like going to call it uh, TikTok made me buy it. Yeah. <laughs> you found, so you saw this on TikTok, right? I did see something on TikTok. Um, one of the people I follow, her handle is big niche or uh laura the explorer she's amazing i love all her content she does fun videos she talks about uh, politics all sorts of stuff so um but one of the things she recommended was well we're used to using loofahs mm -hmm. and so she recommended uh, it's called an african net sponge yeah from omaz cosmetics so i went ahead and bought some um these are the ones that i have not used yet yeah, we, <clears throat> the ones we used are hanging up. Are hanging up in the shower. Which we imagine would probably dry pretty quickly. Yeah, because, and they last, Hold I guess, up. for a really long time. Look at this. You like totally wash your bag. You know, so we did use them. Yeah. Um, and I actually, it was a little surprising at first because, you know, when you're used to a loofah, I um, mean, you gotta, you're supposed to, I think, change your loofah like every three to six months, I believe. Something like that. Um, to, being the to. operative word there. Um, but these, um, you can wash them and reuse them even. And they're just, wow. So typically with some of the loofahs, um, they're a little softer, but the sponge, man, I actually really enjoyed washing. You can wash your bum. <laughs> I love your little bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, they have a big hoop at the top that you can hang them up with. Um, so, so if we... For instance, we have hooks that are lower, so we had to put it on a higher hook. Or the holes are pretty big where you can probably loop it over on your hook so it doubles up. But, man. <clears throat> and you can scrunch them into basically like a loofah. So that's how we, you know, put the soap on and whatever. But it allows you to expand it. Um, it does not feel like a loofah, though. No. Loofahs can be a little bit, you know, more fluffy. But I felt cleaner with this. Like, I, I felt feel like, like I scrub better. It felt to me like I was washing with a wash rag like a washcloth versus a loofah which is weird because it's netted and stuff but yeah i personally like the feel of a loofah a little bit better 
I actually really enjoyed this. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't, it's not that I didn't like this. It's just if I had a preference between the two, I do like the loofah effect just a little bit better. But this worked really well. Um, it also rinses out really quickly. Really, you know, really with a loofah, you're just like squeeze, squeeze. and squeeze as, you, you know. Anyway, this came out like immediately. Yeah, so I actually thought it was great. Um, and I'm going to give that a 10 go. Actually better. I think it's better than a loofah, in my opinion. Yeah, and I'll, I'll give it a solid um, 9. Mainly because it does it does fill in that factor of not being able to kind of clean your back. You know, when you're with a loofah, you're trying to... Right, sure and this is can. easy. Like, just it's so easy. You can wash them. They're supposed to last forever. So, again, that was uh, Oma's Cosmetics. It's O M A S Cosmetics. Oh, is it O M A or O M A H S? No, it's O M A S. Oh, okay, okay. I think you said it wrong. I did probably. Mm -hmm. No, amazing product. Um, so it's not a loofah. It's technically a sponge. Yeah. So. Yeah. Check it out. And you wouldn't think that it holds that much, but it actually does hold. Oh really my gosh, well. yes. I always feel like with the loofahs, I always have to put more soap in sometimes because I feel like sometimes if it gets too whatever, I'm not getting enough. I didn't have to do that today. I'm do a second round of soap. Yeah. So, because I always feel like it comes out too fast. And then when I'm done and trying to then rinse it, then it takes forever. I don't have a good time with loofahs. So I <laughs> like the sponge. It's cool. It's it's very innovative. It was cool to clean my back. So see and do your little I love your little butt mom dance in the shower today. Clean my tushy. <laughs> All right. So the next one we have is uh, a concoction. As we were we love the cream liqueur. Oh, so good. The peppermint bark, right? Uh, pepper yeah, peppermint bark from Pennsylvania Butch. But we thought how cool would it be to try with some whipped vodka. So we got some pinnacle whipped. And we're gonna mix that up first, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you mentioned it yesterday in our last video. Um, that'd be really good with this. Let's try it out. Oh, here's mine. Half and half. And next one. I hope it's good. Me too. We'll have to smell it as well. I love smelling stuff. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> rocking my uh, Boston shot glass, representing the Celtics on there. Oh, and I got Detroit. Got the gear shifter on there. That's actually kind of cool. Ooh, smells. Ooh. It smells pretty good, right? It smells really good. Chin -chin. Do we need a? Probably. This time I'm gonna do diet do. I'm gonna do a little bit of my favorite ghost. Here we go. Here we go. That doesn't really need that big of a. No, teaser. it's good. Mm. All right, so I do like that way better than what we had yesterday. Yeah, the whipped gives it more of a creamy flavor, so it does. It's um, again, it goes almost like that chocolate milk taste a little yeah. bit Ooh, yeah. with a little bit of peppermint. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It is good. Wow. I'm gonna have to drink more of that later. All right. What What do we got next? How many ghosts? <clears throat> hmm. How many ghosts? How many go? Oh, on that, I'm gonna give that a solid ten. That was good. Yeah, I give it a solid 10 as well. Yeah. I think next we're going to try a little <laughs> bit of uh, an interesting concoction. We're going to try some mudslide. Yeah, which normally is uh, we, we buy the mixer and we throw in the alcohol. This has already got it in it, right? Yeah, and then I thought we would try it with some peppermint bark. Awesome. To see. We love peppermint bark. You guys should try it out. I'll let you pour this time. I get to pour this time. All right. I do love the mudslide. Yeah, we, I mean, we've, so we've had a review with it before doing with ice. Yeah. Um, and then we've even added like a little kicker in um, to enhance the flavor. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Uh, but this will be interesting. I, I mean, like we said in our review, this peppermint bark is like a great mixer. Right. And it's only 12%. So it's very light. Mm -hmm. Very, very light. There's a little bit full. I like chocolate. So let's see if it's kind of chocolate milkily or something. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Chin. So mudslide with the peppermint bark. bark. <laughs> That's really good. It is really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, what's that? Only 12% too, probably? Yep. 24% alcohol. That right there, you throw some ice into it, that is a freaking great drink. Yeah, 12%, 12.5 in Mexican slide. 
And then we've got the 12% with the cream liqueur. Yeah. <clears throat> so Ooh. not very high, but I mean, wow, that's that's so good. I would have that warm or cold. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, and then maybe in a little bit of coffee. Yeah, yeah, that would Ooh, be, that's that'd be so good. good. How many ghosts? Um, I'm going to give that a 10. 10. I'm 10 for sure. I love that. We're, t we're totally picking up more peppermint bark. It's so good. Yeah. Like, it's so like, good. I mean, cream liqueurs are already good, but that it's like, yeah. Yeah. What were we going to mix with the pink Whitney? I don't know. We didn't really talk about it. We Maybe the whipped in the Whitney? <gasps> oh, let's do that. Yeah, so, like a strawberry cream or a pink lemonade cream. I don't know why I keep thinking strawberry. I no, I think you want some strawberry something. All right, so let's try these two out together. So uh, the whipped and the pink, pink, lemonade? Le pink lemonade. I love the pink Whitney, though. The New Amsterdam. Yeah. It doesn't really need a chaser either. I mean, uh, when you just have it, like you still have one, but it doesn't really need it. Yeah. Well, you open those and get ready to pour. I'm going to rinse these out really fast. Okay. Because they've been a little bit light. I was looking for the... Uh, Alcohol content? Yeah. I feel like it's also like almost in the 40% range, right? It's usually. I thought it was like a 30 or 35, but... Hmm. Most hmm. of the, a lot of the vodkas we drink are about 30 and 35. Yeah. Unless we get like a Grey Goose and that's going to be 40. 40, right? Yeah. I'll, you have to look after I pour this. Okay. So half pink. Half pink. What's this one? And whip. This that, one's think, thirty. Oh, that 30. one's only thirty. Yeah, this one's thirty. Like I said, most of them are thirty. The to... can't see it, right? No, it's right here. It's also thirty. Okay. So thirty and thirty. So we usually play it a little safe with the thirty yeah. percent. Well, which is why the ninety-nine banana with forty-nine is a little strong. It is. It's very strong. All right. All right. So let's try. We're going to do again whipped with some pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Pink Whitney New Amsterdam. Ooh, that smells good. Here we go. Cheers. Hmm. Ooh. It's got a bite. A little bit, but I like the whipped with it. It is good, but the, the lemon latches onto the the yeah. whips vodka aftertaste and almost enhances it a little bit bites in the back of the tongue yeah um so i took it down a few points for me i would probably seven and a half i was gonna say eight yeah um i mean it's it's got a good front flavor but that back it, it bites a little bit yeah so today my favorite is was the mudslide in with the pepper mark personally mine too the jack daniels and coke oh was a lot better than i thought it would be i was a little nervous solid eight Solid 9.5. <laughs> We're going to have to try some more whiskeys at some point. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, if you like what you saw, um, make sure you hit the thumbs up or the likes button. Uh, if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. And if you want to be notified, just click the bell and it'll let you know when we come out with some more content. Yes. And don't forget, today's the Chiefs game. Go Chiefs against the Broncos, which my best friend loves the Broncos. So. We'll it's going to be happens. how it goes today. I think we're going to win. But... I hope so. But then I don't want to hear it if we lose from the best friend. All right. Till next time. Bye, guys.